deadline for an Oregon judge to either stand by his ruling or toss it out. And the stakes are huge. The Baker County judge earlier ruled that Governor Kate Brown's stay-at-home order should be null and void. Well, today the state Supreme Court gave the judge a chance to reconsider his ruling that the governor exceeded her authority before the case moves to the next level. Luxville's Pete Fairman joins us live now with more on what happened, Pete. Yeah, that Baker County judge essentially dug in his heels and stood by his ruling against Governor Brown's stay-at-home order today. It's the latest chapter in the legal back and forth between the state and 10 churches that are suing the governor. Judge Matthew Shirtcliffe had until today to tell the state Supreme Court whether he would vacate last week's ruling and to provide a letter that explains why he stands by it. Well, he sent out that letter this morning, as expected. The ruling involves a lawsuit brought by 10 churches led by the nonprofit Common Sense Oregon. They sued Governor Brown, saying the state home order is unconstitutional, arguing that she can only shut the state down for 28 do days without legislative approval per state law. The plaintiff's claim uh, means that her order expired on April 7th, they say. Well, last week, a Baker County judge tossed out Brown's statewide restrictions, saying that she did not seek the legislature's approval to extend the order. The state Supreme Court later put a halt on the judge's ruling and gave the judge time to vacate it, and instead, he sent out that letter that I just mentioned. Now, the lawyer representing the plaintiffs issued a statement shortly after the letter was released. It says, in part, I am pleased that Judge Shirtcliffe chose to stand by his original decision, which I firmly believe is strongly supported by proper analysis of the statutes. We will now have the opportunity to fully engage with the governor's representatives in front of the Supreme Court. So what happens next? Well, the state says it can file a brief with the Supreme Court by Thursday, with the plaintiffs expected to file one by a week from today. For now, though, there is no clear timeline for when the Supreme Court could make a decision once all of that happens, and that could be a, a key factor here. In studio, Pete Ferryman, Fox 12 Oregon.